Wednesday and welcome to a new vlog. I know it's pretty uncommon for me to start my vlogs on Wednesdays, but basically, long story short, my husband has had a vacation or has been taking vacation or leave days for the last two days and so I've been spending a lot of time with him and just doing, you know, things that I save for when he's home, you know, like we hung some things in the house and just, you know, stuff that doesn't really need to be filmed, but I actually just dropped him off at the airport because um, part of this vacation or leave that he's taking is that he's flying home and getting to spend time with uh, family, obviously, and also mainly his friends from um, his like hometown friends. That sounds weird. That he hasn't seen in like, in some cases, like two years because of you know, the world situation and everything. So he finally has a chance to go see them and why not? He's gonna be there for a little bit. And because I had to drive him all the way down to the airport, I figured might as well take advantage of coming down to San Diego and do some plant shopping. And I think the whole first part of this vlog I'm planning on dedicating to sort of my plant collection and plant shopping and stuff. If you wanna come run some errands with me and do some plant shopping and everything, stay tuned and let's do it. officially done with plant shopping I will show you my loot my plants that I picked up from this trip when I get home but unfortunately uh, I was planning on spending more time out today but I just got a call from a delivery guy that's saying that he really needs me to meet him at the gate for if you're new here or you know are not familiar I am a military spouse and I do live on a military base and so sometimes deliveries and stuff like that have issues getting all the way to my house uh, because the drivers don't have access to get onto the military base obviously it's a very secure place to live and so for that reason he's you know he's gonna try to make other deliveries but he was like look I really need you to be here here within the next like hour not within but like I'll, I'll be leaving within an hour and just okay so I'm gonna quickly run in to Mitsua marketplace which I have to give my cousin Mike credit for introducing me to this Asian grocery store I've been to a, quite a few Asian grocery stores since moving here to Southern California uh, for those who do not know I was born and raised in Hawaii and I basically grew up eating all different sorts of Asian foods and I just love stopping into Asian grocery stores either to do like big hauls of like treats and savory foods and like ingredients or just like stop in for a snack and I figured you know I'm in the area I was only 10 minutes away so I'm just gonna go in grab a few like little snackies for the road maybe I'll show you what I pick up but nothing too intense I I'm actually it's probably a good thing that I have to head home because otherwise I could easily spend like an hour just going down every single aisle and just spending way too much money so uh, yeah let's go in That is the sound of my car starting up. That took literally less than five minutes. I wish that my car has a little jingle when it turns on. I wish that I had spent more time in there, but again, I do have to get a move on because I have one more place that I want to go to pick up a special type of planter that I saw last time I was there. But, ooh, <laughs> you're balanced super precariously on my steering wheel. Um, but I just wanted to like super quickly show you what I got. Like, I really wish I had more time to like show you how well stocked and like awesome that grocery store is. I feel like I've been to quite a few other 
like 99 Ranch Market, not even 99 Ranch Market, 99 Ranch Market's pretty good. 88 Ranch Market was the last one I went to. I've been to a few others that are like a lot smaller. And I don't know if this is just because right now, like Japanese candy and snacks, I feel like they're really, really trendy, which sucks because sometimes people that like were actually born and raised on them, yes, I know that I'm not Japanese. Um, like whenever I go, they're like out of the good stuff or yeah, they just, they, I, I don't know. Or like, like some of the places only focus on like mochi and snacks instead of like actual food. Uh, because that's like what's popular right now. I feel like Moshi ice cream is like having a moment, which is, you know, it's fine. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you what I got up. I'm not, uh, what I picked up. I'm not gonna eat all of this, but I just, I like to take some of these home and like eat throughout the week. Um, but I did, I'm a huge fan of onigiri or onigiri. I don't know if that's the proper way to pronounce it. It's how I've always said it. Um, but basically what they are, if you're not familiar, they're like little rice triangles that uh, like the packaging pulls off a specific way and it's just like a rice ball for lack of a better term with like uh, stuff inside of it and I love onigiri because one I'm a huge fan of rice I grew up eating rice like Japanese sticky rice with every single meal and so this is just like a portable way to eat rice it's like in little snack size so and it's good because I'm gonna be driving so I can like eat it while driving uh, yeah this place is awesome they do like fresh crepes like Japanese style crepes they do like fresh like like warm Japanese it's like a food court but it's like all Japanese food it's just so awesome like they have like to-go food that's like in the refrigerators they have all the snacks and everything they also have like fresh produce like Japanese produce fresh made mochi which I didn't find any today I don't know if it's just because I'm coming kind of like in the mid afternoon but I was really hoping I could find some like fresh strawberry daifuku which is like strawberry mochi with like an actual strawberry in it but I couldn't find any but anyway I picked up some different flavors of onigiri I, I feel self-conscious about the way that I say that now, even though I've always said onigiri or onigiri, I don't know. And then I just also picked up two fresh mochis, and they're not like fresh, they are packaged, but they're the ones that like have to be in the refrigerated section, so sometimes I feel like I prefer these. Again, I'm not gonna eat all of this at the same time, that would just like stop my digestive tract entirely because this is like all rice products if you're not familiar mochi is made with rice flour so i picked up a sesame one i love sesame mochi like i just mm, i love like the nutty flavor and then i just picked up a regular red bean one so i'm gonna eat a little bit of this while i hit the road i'm trying to get to my next plant shop as soon as possible i say as i blabber away and pick up a planter and maybe one other plant and then hopefully go get my Hello Fresh order. Um, so I'll see you guys hopefully at the next plant shop. later I decided to do a little bit of house cleaning because when my husband left this morning he's the kind of person that needs to make a situation messier before it gets cleaner and yeah it used to really bug me but basically as chaos was unfolding this morning and he was like doing multiple loads of laundry and packing and everything I was just telling myself as I was looking at the mess in our house I was like you'll clean it after he leaves, like a mantra or something. So I ended up cleaning up, actually wasn't so bad. Um, I did end up calling my mom for a little bit, catching up with her, you know, I got the HelloFresh stuff figured out, so that was good. But I was thinking about how I wanna go about this sort of next portion of the vlog, and I think the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna show you, actually I'm gonna show you the current situation, or at least an update on the plants that I have told you guys about that I have before. I will link up above the playlist to my home decor videos because um, I've mentioned before in both my dining room tour and my living room tour, which at the time were the only two areas in the house that had plants. I told you guys all about those plants, but as I said, unfortunately one of them died and a few changes have had to be made. So let me just walk you through that. Then I'll show you what I got to sort of like rectify that situation. And then I might have a little bit of a home decor update for you guys. So let's do it. Let me take you through these rooms. So let's just start with the living room. And super luckily for me, the three plants that are in the living room, which is this guy and these two here on the table, they have been doing really really well again this is a 
Chinese money plant, I believe. I believe this is a frost peperomia. And just to sort of let you guys know basically what i was doing was not all my plants were getting the proper amount of sunlight and i was over watering some of them and over fertilizing some of them so as you can see this guy did get like a little bit of well weirdly enough these two have actually been fine but pretty much all my plants have gotten like a little bit of fertilizer burn which is a learning process for me i've never given plants fertilizer before i did have like a few plants on my old place but they were like outdoor and i just gave them water um but this guy he got a little bit of fertilizer burn but overall um they've been doing pretty well he is drooping a little bit because i think i was over watering him but i have been spacing out my waterings a bit more and he's been perking up a lot so super happy with these guys this one over here, the mother-in-law's tongue. Um, she is outside because basically, let me show you. Uh, actually, you know what? I cut I cut it all out, but this one got fertilizer burned really badly too. Basically, um, if you're not familiar, I'll show you later on, but I use the Planta app to like take care of all my plants and they tell you like when to fertilize and stuff like that, but they also give you the option to snooze or put off a task if a plant already has too much water in the soil and I wasn't even checking I was just I was like oh it's telling me to water I'm gonna rewater it without checking like soil mo moisture or anything so this guy got over watered and over fertilized so this right here was a huge section of like fertilizer burn so I just kind of cut it out I don't know if this if this is gonna live like this particular leaf here but overall doing pretty well luckily I caught most of my mistakes pretty early on but unfortunately this is where we get into the sad part <laughs> This is what is left of my umbrella plant. If you saw my dining room tour, you'll know that I was super, super excited about this plant because it is a mini version of a plant of a tree that my parents had in my childhood home growing up. But unfortunately, I definitely overwatered it. Something that I was doing when I was watering my plants is, like I said, I wasn't actually checking the soil moisture before watering them again. I was just like, oh, my app is telling me to water, so I'm just gonna water. And I think this guy got root rot really badly because there used to be like multiple um different like stalks i guess <laughs> but i they all started dying and then one time i just gently tugged on like the other ones that were over here and they all just ripped out of the ground super easily and they were like mushy and moldy so i don't think this one's gonna make it so i do have a replacement plant for him but that was a big lesson for me i used to overwater my plants and not all of them have drainage holes so what i'm doing now is whenever my app tells me to water the plant i will always water them outside now to make sure that they're able to drain out instead of just letting them sit in their own water <laughs> so moving on I'm sure you're probably looking at this guy like, what the heck? <laughs> so these two are kind of a different story. I'm not sure if the camera will pick up on this one because of the lighting. There we go, it's a little bit better. But basically these cacti were in my dining room and I knew that my dining room did not have enough light for them and I was just like, oh, whatever. Like my Planta app told me when I put these succulents in my dining room, which is a partial sun, partial shade room, the, the app said not enough sun for these plants. And I was like, okay, like that's nice. Like they're plants, they'll make it, they'll be fine. There's, there's plenty of sun. The app was right. <laughs> this guy started turning really, really pale. And I also was overwatering him as well and not giving him proper drainage. And this guy, started turning really really pale as well and they started doing something called reaching which is basically when your succulents grow like really tall or they grow out really long because they're trying to get to the sun so i i trimmed off all of his dead and i mean totally dead like completely dead leaves and i know he's not the prettiest to look at now but basically these two this this guy has reached a lot these used to be flush to the ground and as you can see they're now like sticking up because it was reaching towards the sun the sun was over here so yeah, these guys are gonna be outdoor plants now because none of the rooms in my house actually have a good place that gets full sun all the time. Like the best I can do is partial sun, partial shade. So these guys just became outdoor plants. And like I said, this one and this one, I think I'm just gonna get rid of. I know he's, I can tell that he's got root rot. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the camera, but yeah, you, you can't really tell, but like 
that he's definitely got root rot. Like, I I'm not gonna kill him on camera, that's, that's violent. Um, but yeah, basically the update to my routine is I now check my plants for moisture levels by actually putting my finger in the soil. I didn't used to do that because I was like, I don't wanna get dirt under my nail, so I would just like eyeball it, but like this soil is still moist and I watered it like a week ago, so. I, I physically check and I follow the directions on the liquid fertilizer much better. I was way over fertilizing all of my plants and so some of them started rotting and having a lot of complications because of that. And also now when I water my plants, I water them outside. As you can see, I watered this guy yesterday and this is a tiny little fraction of how much water poured out of the pot yesterday. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's water. Let me see if the camera will focus on that. Will it? There's like water underneath this pot that I wouldn't have let drain out properly if it was still sitting in my living room next to my Wi-Fi router. So luckily I did catch most of my plants in time, but in order to replace these two guys and this guy, I'll show you what I got in a second. And then this is random. I just picked up these two little flowering plants at my local grocery store. I picked these guys up when my other plants like suddenly all started dying and I felt really guilty and they were really, really cheap. So um, this I call this my outdoor garden. I don't remember what this plant is called. I'll put the name up somewhere, but this is just a miniature rose and I've been having a lot of fun watching the uh, flowers bloom and then trimming them after they die. And it's just been really fun. Maybe this will get transferred into a big pot one day. If these guys don't make it, it's not a big deal because they were like five bucks each, but I just had fun with those two. And then moving on to the other plants in my dining room, my Monstera started getting fertilizer burn as well. Let me see if I can find like here. This is a good example of fertilizer burn. And I think there was another leaf somewhere that started getting it. And and I was, I, it's very obvious to me that I was <laughs> over fertilizing them after I, I did my actual research on it. But as you can see, um, now that I'm doing the watering outside where I can really let the pot drain out at the bottom instead of just having it sit underneath this plant, there's a plastic tray and I didn't realize it, but this plant was sitting in fertilizer water for like weeks really bad because it's kind of far from a window so it's like not drying out but now he's doing really well because i caught it in time as you can see there's a new new little leaf there so really really happy i honestly think this might be the healthiest plant that i have now but this scared the shit out of me i'm not gonna lie i was so upset when i saw this and then my bird of paradise is also doing really really well I, some i'm seeing some like brown tips on it but i don't know like i've seen a lot of bird of paradise like actually in the wild like i like see this but i've seen a lot of bird of paradise like outside and they all are like really brown on the on the tips so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i don't know put too much stock in that because overall it looks like a really healthy plant so i don't know i'm keeping an eye on it i'm making sure that the soil, it likes to be constantly moist, but this is the only plant that I'm not able to move outside for drainage purposes, because I think it's like over 100 pounds. So just be really careful with this one. I'm pretty sure he is getting enough sun being right by a window, but overall doing pretty well. Let me just quickly show you my haul from today, and then I will get to work sort of making my vision happen for me. So they make their own potting mix for really cheap, and I don't really need that much potting mix, so I just picked this up. This is my replacement umbrella tree that I am, knock on wood, not going to over fertilize or over water. So I'm really confident. I really hope that I can keep this one alive. He is just gonna go into the pot that the other one is in. And then th these two here, this bird's nest fern and this ZZ plant are going to replace the two succulents that I had over here <laughs> that like I said, were reaching towards the sun. So. I'm sure you'll be able to tell, but this guy is gonna get put into this gold planter and then this bird's nest fern is going to be put into this um, blue ceramic planter. Does he have a drainage hole? Yeah. So I'm just really hoping that because these are both known to be very, very low light plants, the bird's nest fern and the ZZ plant. Okay, I've been talking all about this planta app, so I figured I would show it to you um, instead of just doing like a, I don't know, a screen recording or something. Um, but basically this is the app. These are all the tasks that I need to work on today. It's normally not this many. This is by far the most tasks that I've ever seen. But basically when I was trying to figure out what plants I could put in this room, the dining room that I'm currently in, I went to my plants and it says they're in the kitchen, they're in the dining room, they didn't have an option for a dining room site. But basically I went to the kitchen and so that's all the things I need to do. I said I went to add plant. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my croton. Oh my gosh, okay. 
So this is a croton that I just picked up at the commissary. It replaced my rose painted calathea that died because I overwatered it and it didn't like a little cold spell that we had. But I, I love this guy. He fits in perfectly with like the tropical vibe we have going on. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. I used to have a rose painted calathea instead of this croton. But basically I went to add plant and then I went to recommended plants and based on the lighting situation, let me close this, this is really hard to look at my phone through the camera. Um, let's see, based on the light, which I used the planta light meter to determine, obviously it's dark, the, the saying that this room right here is dark, but like if you point it towards a light source, you're supposed to do it at noon, it's like 4 p.m. now, so it's not as strong. But if you point it towards a light source, it'll tell you, um, you're supposed to do it at noon, like I said, what type of room that you're in. So when I did it in this room at noon, it's a part sun, part shade room. But anyway, this is a lot. Okay, add plant, recommended plants, and then in this list, I basically just picked what I wanted to have in here. So as you can see, a ZZ plant, this guy, is recommended and somewhere in here is a bird's nest fern i don't remember where it is but yeah a bird's nest fern was also recommended to go in here there it is bird's nest fern and i really like those two plants so i'm going to repot those bad boys and then i just want to talk about these two really quickly before i just whack you on a time lapse and take care of my plants but i really really wanted this planter to go here on my entryway table. So I really, really like the look here. I'm gonna change up what's going on. Hi, <laughs> I'm gonna change up what I have going on over here to like add more height basically to like sort of close the gap between where the mirror stops or whatever and like the table if that makes any sense. Yeah, I should have gotten a bigger mirror in truth but it's fine, I'll just, I'll just add taller things up here. But the only issue is when I use my planta light meter for literally, I, I put my phone here and I looked out towards the window. This room, even at noon in broad sunlight, is classified as a dark room. Not even low light, dark, straight up dark. So unfortunately, I'm only gonna be able to do fake plants in here. If I really wanted to, I could have done another ZZ plant here, but, but that's not the look I wanted to go for with this gal. So I'm gonna do a fake, um, a string of pearls plant like a short one that will just go here and make it look like she has hair and If I do any tall fake plants, I'll put them here But if I, I had a vision where there was gonna be real plants in this room uh, as you can see I do have fake plants up here on the shelves, but It's just I I don't want to deal with paying a lot of money just to have plants die so she's gonna go here and then last but certainly not least, I picked up this air plant from Landmark Plant Co. And I've never owned an air plant before. I don't really have a plan on where I'm gonna put him, but I've always wanted one. So I'm just going to do some research on him and see what light condition needs he has and then go from there and decide where I'm gonna put him. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pot these guys. I'm gonna take care of my plant to-do list. Let's see. Going to plant care again. I've never had 11 tasks before but as you can see today I need to water my croton and <laughs> my croton <laughs> And my mixed cactuses outside I need to prune my rose which I actually did yesterday so I can check that off and then I need to provide a progress update on these guys here. This one, <laughs> I'm just gonna say, is the new one that I just added. And then I need to mist those guys, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
wanted to give you guys a little update. As you saw, I just repotted some of these guys and I wasn't sure where I was going to put this air plant, but I guess I only had I only had two plants here before I had these three, the two succulents that didn't love it here. And I'm I guess the pot of the succulents, the pots of the succulents were much bigger because I thought that these two would fill the space nicely, but as you can see if I get rid of this it just I don't know, my opinion, there needs to be more because the point of this dining room, if you saw my dining room tour again, in my home playlist, on my channel, I kind of wanted the point of my dining room to look like a like a kooky, eccentric greenhouse sort of vibe, like a little tropical, like, like I was an 18th century Englishman who s traveled the world documenting plant species. You know, just like kind of fun, kind of strange, kind of like a little, like a collector or something. So um, that's what I have here. And now what I wanna show you, I actually, I haven't watered these guys yet. I decided I'm gonna do all my plant care off camera in the interest of this vlog not being like super, super long and entirely dedicated to plants because I am going to LA tomorrow. So I'll be vlogging that. But basically what I'm gonna get up to now and you know again I'm not sure if I'll show you everything in detail, but uh, Super lucky for me. My brother came by recently after visiting my parents house in Montana And he brought with him a lot of things that I saved and wanted in my future home from when we moved from Hawaii and I went through all of the things that he brought over. There were a few things that I did end up parting ways with because they had either been like smashed or just not really um, my thing anymore, just maybe not as valuable as I thought they were when I was 18. But as you can see, I have a whole lot of shells and just like different little decoration-y type pieces from my home or for my room, um, actually not my home, my parents' house slash my room in Hawaii that I wanted to save. Like these are two pineapple, not pineapple, excuse me, what <laughs> palm tree candlesticks. And as you can see, like I said, a whole lot of shells. And, ooh, and I did decorate these shelves recently, but as I mentioned in the vlog when I was decorating them, the point of these shelves are not to stay the same through the entire time that we're living here. Like I'll probably, you know, change some of these things out for like Christmas decorations when the time comes. But I honestly kind of forgot that I had such large decoration, as you can see, mostly shells, but such large decoration pieces um, in my old room slash my parents' house. And so I want to use them. I don't want them to just sit in storage. So I think I'm gonna end up rearranging this, but it already looks quite busy. So I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm not super happy with this arrangement anymore. This ended up being much taller than I than I remembered. And as you can see, these guys are really, really short here. So I think I'm gonna do a bit of rearranging on the decorations to like incorporate these things into this room. And I am considering maybe adding a few more things to this side table over here, just to sort of fill it out a bit. Again, this is not really meant to be a functional side table. It's meant to sort of show off like collector's bits, like odds and ends and things. So um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that now, have some fun with it. If I don't end up using everything from here, I'm not gonna like get rid of anything, but I, instead of, you know, not using these things and then later down the line going out and buying new stuff, I really should just rearrange what I already have. Because as you can see, I have a lot to work with. I just wanted to show you a quick update on where I actually got to because I don't know I just figured if you watch the dining room tour and you're curious to see what I switched up specifically in the dining room because I made most of the changes actually in the sitting room but I haven't done a tour for that yet but anyway blabbering on I just wanted to show you what I ended up doing so ever since I don't know if it's because this 
new umbrella plant is not as mature. The other one had was like much more foliage. I only had this and like a candle over here and it just, it looked a lot fuller. So I thought I would take these uh, funny little candlestick holders that actually came from my parents' house in Hawaii. They're, I love that they're a little bit rusted, actually quite rusted, a little bit um, beaten up, but I really, really like that. I think they would fit in nicely here. And again, I, I don't, this, this side table is meant to be ornamental, like not practical, which is why I'm fine kind of just like stuffing it with things and making it look a little bit overcrowded because that's kind of like the point of this room, like I said before. And I really wanted to put something on this book, but I couldn't figure out what. And I really like how the orange parts of this seashell kind of tie in nicely with my book here. And then obviously I would typically have the ZZ plant and the... Uh, what's it called bird's nest burn here, but they're outside because I just watered them and they're draining Do you like what I did? <laughs> Needs attention all the time. Anyway It's a big car driving by but this was the next sort of challenge for me like I showed you I really wanted something that would give height to this side to sort of match this so I Decided to go ahead and take these dry lavender flowers Which I like having here because they actually do smell really good So it's kind of nice for the entrance way and then this little Athena bust I've had since my old apartment and then this guy I honestly I um, it has to have come from my parents old house but I don't really remember where it was, but I like it. Um, I think it would probably be too matchy-matchy if this and what's going on over here were the same exact height. So I like that. It's not as practical as it was before. Like, I don't mind myself. I don't know if when my husband comes home, he'll be like, there's a lot of stuff on this table. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's a work in progress always, but I really like what's going on there. And then I did end up putting um, the more intricate sort of coral piece down there. Pickles is rubbing himself on my shins. Hello, hello. Um, but I do really like the way that looks. I feel like I've seen that before, either like, I don't know, in restaurants or fancy houses, or I don't know, I feel like I've seen the whole intricate piece of coral on a stack of books thing before, so I really like that. Unless you're like particularly eagle-eyed, you might not even be able to know, uh, to see any changes, but um, I did add in, as you can see, like there's some shells there. Um, I put the add in inner shell there. I put that shell. I moved that candle from the dining room because I put the candlesticks in there. And I think it's weird when you have too many candles close together. It just looks weird. <laughs> um, you know, I just like arranged some things. I moved some things around. I added that vase. I added those little glass thingies. That's the sound of pickles bumping his head on his tube. Um, I added those little glass thingies, uh, which are actually really cool. They're like these like antique like medicine glass tubes and there's like a random little car i don't know i think they were they were my dad's um yeah so i you know if this looks really cluttered to you honestly i kind of agree i do think it looks really really cluttered but that was the point of these shelves it was to sort of have a fun way to display things that bring me joy and that might like evoke memories and just things that i love um i'll probably be switching them up for the holidays and stuff like i said the last thing i'll show you is um this little what pickles this little like porcelain i don't know what you would call it it's like a rectangle that's got like an image on it it's almost like a porcelain print for some reason the camera does not want to focus there we go and i got this as a freshman in high school when we did like a few days of exchange students there was a all boys cross country team an all boys high school that is from auckland new zealand that came to stay with for whatever reason, the the girls team in my high school, we had boys and girls at my high school, but for some reason they stayed with the girls team and they each brought like a little something from Auckland, New Zealand. And so my um, friend that I actually have never talked to ever since, but we're Facebook friends, Ryan Martin, um, is, is, gave me this from New Chums Beach in Auckland, New Zealand on October 13th, 2012. I feel like my mom might have written that date. I don't know, that looks like her handwriting. But yeah, I honestly, like I said, I have, I, maybe I've texted him a few times since but like I was 14 when I first met him he was just a friend ah! um, but I've always held on to this because I've always really wanted to visit New Zealand even the North Island in Auckland so yeah that's all I really have for tonight. I can't even see myself in the viewfinder. There we go. That's all I have for tonight. Tomorrow I'm hoping to make an LA trip because of plans I have on Friday and I just 
don't go to LA on the weekend, so I really need to go tomorrow. Honestly, I'm not really in the mood to, but I know I will be happy that I did. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow, hopefully for a fun day in LA, and then we'll see if I continue the vlog beyond that. We'll see, I have a feeling this is gonna be a long one. So thank you so much for watching up to this point and stay tuned to see LA. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm looking at right now. Bumper to bumper traffic. And honestly, I'm gonna choose not to let it bother me, but to catch you guys up, happy Friday. Yay, I'm still gonna call it happy Friday despite this traffic um, because I have a lot planned for the day, so I thought I would take you along. And the first thing on the agenda for today, I almost said to-do list. First thing on the agenda is I'm on my way to go get brunch with my little military wife friend squad. I don't know why I do this with my hands, um, but I feel comfortable whipping out the camera and vlogging right now because I'm literally moving like, you know, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm moving very, 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 very slowly. Not to drag you down with how I wanted to start this vlog. The reason I guess I'm starting it here is because honestly, I was I was planning on starting it at home, but because I was already running a bit late, I was like four minutes late, now over an hour. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll talk to them after brunch. But here I am on my way to brunch. I am gonna be heading up to LA afterwards because today is the first fully sunny, not a cloud in the sky day that we have had in close to probably over three weeks now like sunny from start to finish it's it hasn't we haven't had that yet and yesterday was super cloudy so combined with the fact that i'm already headed north to go to brunch i figured why not do my la trip today so i'm gonna do that in the meantime i will be listening to a podcast and remaining calm and patient because you know what who knows why this is happening maybe there was a fatal accident you know i just try to get a sense of perspective so yeah i'm gonna sign off now and check in wherever i am next so see you in a bit Hey guys, it is a few hours later. I just arrived in LA and it was about a two hour drive. <sighs> and uh, as much as that bothered me as I was sitting in traffic pretty much all day today, I realized, you know what, I drove like, what did I do? I think I did like a, a 13 hour driving day just to get like three photos from Death Valley National Park, so I'll be fine. But basically, um, I'm, I just got to another cafe called, I believe it's called Bluestone Lane. They have multiple locations, but I wanted to go there because they have like a lot of blue in their decor and in their like plates and stuff. At this point, it's like basically, I had brunch this morning and now I'm having dinner, lunch slash dinner. So yeah, let's go get some good food and hopefully some cute photos. Hey guys, so I haven't updated you in a few hours. My bad, I've been a bad vlogger, but um, I'll put the photos up here on the side that I just took. I knew I wanted to take photos on Rodeo Drive and um, one of the locations didn't end up working out because it was just way too crowded. I've just learned like if I want to take photos down there, I really, really need to like go at like eight in the morning before people even arrive because it was just way too busy. So yeah, I ended up taking some photos that I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm somewhat happy with, but not as happy as I could be. So I'll probably just end up using it for like a reels cover or something. But now I am at my final destination for the day and look at me vlogging in public. But anyway, I didn't expect I was gonna come here today. I just kind of wanted to scope it out and I think I'm gonna try to take photos here anyway. I don't think the lighting will work in my favor, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try it. But I am at Griffith Observatory. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell like in the distance right there is the actual observatory and I parked pretty far away because I honestly just expected that I wasn't going to be able to find a spot. So I don't think I'm actually going to walk all the way up there because I don't really feel the need to. Uh, I'm going to try to work with this background because it sort of works for the vision that I have. But yeah, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know yet. All right. 
right, I am back in the car. Um, if you're watching this and you're thinking about going to see like, Griffith Park and like the observatory and everything, if you have like a lot of things on your agenda and you're not, it's not like a diehard thing that you really want to do, I probably, if you're like visiting LA for a little bit, I probably wouldn't go. Um, it definitely has its merits, but as I'm sure you can probably tell by like all the cars that are driving past me and I'm sure you heard a lot of background noise um, in the vlog clips I just filmed, it is so crowded and like kind of like for what? I don't know, maybe I'm just spoiled because um, I my family lives in Montana and I've been to Glacier National Park and I'm from Hawaii so I've seen so many like awesome views in my lifetime and like it's cool, it's just, it's smoggy and it's, you know, it's, it's all right. I'm sure it's like maybe really, really cool at like sunrise. So the lighting, the way the lighting works is if you want to take really awesome photos with the city in the background, and I knew this driving over here, um, just because it makes sense, the, because of the direction the sun rises and it, this overlook faces like the ocean. If you want to get the good lighting with the background looking nice, go in the morning like I would go first thing in the morning when there's like not that many people here but other than that it's a it's a view so I don't know I feel like I'm glad I came so I kind of scope it out and see what it was like but I don't think I I might come back knowing what I know now but there's a lot of people just standing outside my car yelling so I'm gonna I'll be right back okay they passed by yeah there's just there's just swarms and swarms of people driving or walking right past my car just talking super loudly <laughs> um but that's not to say i don't think it was a waste of time again i'm glad i scoped it out um i put the photos up here if i have it already that i got it was just so crowded and so windy like my tripod blew over a few times and like a lot of people asked me to take their photos which was you know fine flattering i hope i can capture like a cool family vacation photo for you guys like cool um but yeah, honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog here just in the interest of keeping these vlogs not really, really long and not just having the vlog only be me talking to the camera. So if you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. It really does help my videos get seen by more people. And subscribe if you haven't already. I post vlogs every Monday and I try to post um, some kind of other like more informative video every Thursday. It's not always on Thursdays just because of the fact that I'm a one woman show and I have a lot of content that I create by myself. Um, what did I say? Subscribe, like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do like the YouTuber checklist. Oh, follow me over on my Instagram if you haven't already. That's where I sort of post more like what I'm getting up to in a day. I also talk to you guys over on my Instagram. I have my subscribers DM me all the time. I love talking to you guys there. Um, so if you have any questions or you want to reach out to me directly, Instagram DM is the best way to go. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!